Hey everyone, welcome back to the second episode of Dark Souls 2, specifically Tales of Drang Lake. I almost forgot what the fuck this mod is called. I was like, damn. Already we are making a mess of things. Interesting. What is this? Oh yeah, this is that thing. This is an... Yeah, this was not created for like the mod or whatever. It's an actual piece of armor in this game. Not surprising. Uh, you guys know about this game. This game has an insane amount of like ridiculous equipment. Uh, you know what I'm doing. I'm testing the shortcut. I'm testing the shortcut which I always forget like how to. You have to look down. I'm almost like betting you that they removed the exploding barrels on the other side. I have a really, really strong feeling that they did that. But there is only one way to prove it. And that is to actually go there. Um, so yeah, we are back with Tales of Drangleic. Already getting my ass kicked. With Mr. Ishin Ashina. Who was not good. Oh, come on. N what is that attack? Is that the first death? I think that's the first death. Cool. Well, that wasn't... That wasn't the best. I knew. I... Or at least I should have guessed. That parrying is what's gonna get me killed in this game. Like... What else, right? That's more like it. So I'm gonna stop messing around, really, with parrying. I say as I immediately try to parry. Uh, but what I was trying to say before uh, dying very unceremoniously is... We need to get a spear. I actually am not sure currently. Hold on. This, there wasn't a fog gate here, here before. It was on the other... Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Well, whatever, I'm gonna go the standard route first. But I just want to finish my point that we need to pick up a spear from somewhere. Oh. Oh, okay. I got you. I got you then. I'm guessing probably like the blacksmith or someone, maybe even Moglin sells spears. Not sure if I'm gonna go for the standard one. Uh, there is no weapon in this game that really mimics the moveset of what Ishin has. But we'll come up with something. Oh, that would be sick if I could parry this fool. It looks like they didn't mess really with the darkness because I think in standard scholar this area is a little bit darker than this or maybe I just have the contrast turned up. I do like this change. Uh, people don't tend to like go in this area really. It's a little bit pointless ever uh, like coming down here unless you want to pick up some equipment. I think there's an invasion here as well in the vanilla game. So basically what I'm saying is that this has always been sort of a well-designed little small area but a little bit pointless to go to. Even though there's some like dope treasure here. What am I doing? Holy shit that guy is like way fast. Yeah, he is. Yeah, these things are way slower in the non-modded game. I hate that that guy can hit me. Oh, how am I gonna like simulate Ishin's like fucking pistol? His Uzi. That's something we need to come up with. Avalyn, obviously. And you get Avalyn in the catacombs, right? 
it's a long way away but we'll manage we'll manage I think I'm just gonna go back down the thing is as you guys probably know backstabbing these guys is a no-go fuck okay they, they are way quicker Like you, I could always get like at least a cup. Yeah, two hits in for. Damn, I could always get two hits in for sure, but not so in this case. Not so. Okay, I have to keep in mind that they sped a lot of things up. Uh, it's gonna be like a adjustment because I'm very much used to the speed of the, like this game's sort of like flow, you know. So definitely there are going to be some stupid deaths in the beginning. That is almost guaranteed. Okay, cool. I think we can consider ourselves to be uh, back where we need to be. And I just realized I completely forgot that you can jump across these gaps and get to these two archers oh shit there isn't a knight here where the hell did all of you come from there normally isn't a knight in here if I remember correctly the thing is I'm trying to like this is not an area I usually go to in Dark Souls 2 like vanilla so oh, can they jump across oh no there's a gap here that would be cool if they actually somehow managed to get them to jump across. <laughs> no way in hell are they that smart. Speaking of smart, that throw was quite something. Just be careful. What, what the fuck? <laughs> Shit. I can't believe how long I've been trying to pass through this area. Normally this place barely takes any time and I'm on my sort of third run through. Let's count it as three and a half because, you know, I died once on the run back with the skellies. Okay, I might just have to hit this bonfire up. Luckily, this is still here, because shit is getting ridiculous, and... Oh fuck, 18? Really? I guess that's like the... Consolation price. Uh, for this game being more difficult, that you get more... Human effigies, because no way you would have 18 at this point in... Vanilla. And vanilla, I mean... Scholar of the first sin, you know, this, listen, the definition of vanilla has changed with this mod because previously vanilla used to refer to like proper, ooh, there we go, there we go, used to refer to like proper Dark Souls 2. Now vanilla is referring to scholar, uh, until I'm playing this mod at least. Okay, I really need to figure out how the fuck you get up there. Uh, oh, there it is. This is a new ladder for sure. This wasn't here before. Well, obviously. This does kind of change the whole dynamics of this place. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, shit. Can you not come back? I guess not. So you have to edge along the walkway there. Okay, be careful with this thing. God, sometimes I wish friendly fire was a thing in these games. Yeah, he's gonna do a fourth. I was really, for a fraction of a second, I was really worried there that he was gonna have enough time to do his swing. By the way, we picked up the Hunter set, which... 
not well leather armor it still kind of looks the same as it did in dark souls 1 no like major change there you gotta be careful because this game is fucking obsessed with um the guided missile projectile system for enemies i swear they have aim assist on More so than in any of the other games. Cool. Kind of just need to adjust to these things. I don't think I finished uh, raiding the roof. Did I? I actually definitely did. So... That I think... Kind of brings an end to... Oh, yeah. Don't forget to pick that up. Interesting that it's placed there. Uh, I'm not going to complain. <clears throat> but yeah, let's just move on carefully because... It's... Very easy to fall off, as I've learned in the previous two attempts. This game has a weird sort of turning system as well. In that your character kind of acts like he's on tracks or something. Just backstab him, please. Whatever. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's impossible to turn without, or very difficult at least, without moving a little bit in a direction. Okay, I'm like completely confused. No, we can go this way. Oh, are you fucking did you did you see that did you see that arrow oh, where are you where the hell did the two of you come from seriously get EIE toad I don't think there's a way to break that barrier uh, let's let's just clear all these fuckers out Because I'm not taking any risks here. That increased adaptability also increases travel distance for your rolls, so you need to be sort of careful. See now. Hold on. Shit, did I screw myself? Yeah, I think I might have a tiny bit. Some of these areas are gonna be absolute mindfucks. Now, you know what? Let's just jump across and see whether the NPC is still there. The guy that makes the maps. He's kind of important, and I don't want to miss out of... I swear to you, it sounded like there was another boulder coming. That would have been quite a, quite a trick. This guy has a ton of dialogue. Let's just advance through this quickly. Kale, that's his name. I like the leafy green. Let's just speed this up. It's all we're here for. All we got to do now is make him move. Basement, we know. We'll go there, don't worry. And that's all we need to do. Excellent. Okay. And I think we can finally move on. Let's try a live gem. I haven't used one throughout this entire playthrough. 
Probably because one of the first things I read about this mod is that uh, life gems are not nerfed. That's a bad way to put it, but they are limited. So you can't just like get infinite life gems for the whole game. And that's of course balanced by the fact that Estus is a little bit more usable in actual combat. That was bullshit. So that kind of definitely... Oh shit, it's still there! God damn it. Okay, you, do your thing. He's not gonna do his thing. Is he? Okay, I am about to fucking die again, which I really don't want. But man, is he far away now. The... not he, she is far away now. When I think about it. Melentia, I mean. Hmm. I don't know, bruh. Should we go back? Shouldn't we go back? Okay, let's go back. I'm not even gonna stop at that bonfire. I'm gonna use the opportunity that I've already wronged or that I've already killed all the enemies here to... You know, not get myself into any trouble. Just make this an easy... What the shit? What? Oh, because the skeletons... Right. Because I rested at that bonfire. Okay, never mind. And actually, now that I'm here, I'm thinking I almost have the souls to get that flask shard. Now I definitely do. So why don't we go ahead and do that? Okay, looks like I haven't bought enough stuff from her. Why did you need like 11k souls, which is pretty easy to get, because uh, you bought the key from her always. Oh, fuck off out of here. Oh, come on, triple fuck off out of here. Skellies are all bunched up here. Ah, cool. Don't worry, we'll manage this. We've managed worse things in this game before. And there's fucking one more. Okay, I really need to use a life gem. Okay, are you all still not done? Okay, we're back. I'm just hoping that there are enough, like, remaining barrels here to... Well, there are. I didn't think the explosion would get me, but listen, I'll take it. I will very much take that. Uh, we can probably actually go back and turn in our flash shard. Oh yeah, she says something different there. You know, whatever. Seek, seek, lest it is. And actually, now that we're here, we might as well look inside the Medjula Mansion, right? What we can also do is check if this guy has... No, he doesn't. He doesn't sell weapons. Whatever. 
I don't actually remember where you can just like get the standard spear in this game. I haven't even talked to the cat yet. Talk to the cat. Cross-examine the parrot, I'd say. Good old Ace Attorney. I remember cross-examining that parrot. Okay, a yeah, standard stuff. Oh, I see what you're doing. I see, I see. Don't worry. I have a solution to that. Perfect. Listen, this is fairly important, I think. It's 3k souls, it's nothing really. Very convenient, I'd say. I, mean, I guess my weapon is already plus one, so it matters a little bit less, but still. Let's get the boy unlocked. Let's also raid his shit. Still the same thing. Cool. See, the thing is, um, one of the things that was difficult about the previous mods is because everything is shuffled around it becomes really difficult to find key items, especially if you're working on like some autopilot on just knowing where stuff is. It can be a real challenge. You know, I still sometimes get confused with Vanilla Dark Souls 2 and Scholar of the First Sin. Like, let alone some mod which, you know, none of these mods have any guides to them. So, I think it's gonna be interesting. To me, it seems like they haven't changed that much. Like, radically redesigned where everything is, but I'm sure there are going to be times when I'll be running around like an idiot looking for an item. And this, piece, this place is so peaceful. That's what we like about... Oh, nice! Five of them? Seriously? Just for... Just for like coming in here. They really want you to get your shit upgraded early. Like damn. Now really all we need to find is a spear. And we're all like Gucci. The good old map. And the skelly. Oh, eat shit, bitch. You have more HP. Don't worry. It's not gonna save you. Of course, there is a flash shard here. And this should contain, I th think, the frozen flower, maybe? Oh no, this is a soul vessel. I'm like hella confused. I don't even know where any of, like, anything is. Just ignore me. Go, cool, let's turn in that flash shard. Is that a shard? And now that I'm thinking about it, maybe Leningrast has the standard spear. No? I'm gonna have to look up what spe six seek last what uh, spears we even have in this game because we gotta like pick out something yeah 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 Leningrast okay chill he has it he certainly has it uh, I don't know man I don't know but the thing I'm afraid of, if I don't buy the standard spear, I'm going to be stuck without one for like so long. Although, then again, uh, upgrade materials are so easy to get in this game that it doesn't even matter. We'll decide. We're going to have to decide on that in the next episode of 
Dark Souls 2, Scholar of the First Sin, Tales of Drang Lake. I'm not gonna say that every single time, but so far it hasn't gotten old. Okay, again, thank you guys very much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a like, comment, subscribe, do all the usual, turn on post notifications. I uh, want to give a special shout out to one of my subscribers, Dan. Uh, he hit me up on Instagram. He's having an operation, so all the best to him. Yeah, thanks for watching. Like, comment, post notification, whatever else. Peace out, guys, and goodbye.